Hey, I'm Kevin, you're in my kitchen, and today we're gonna try something I've never tried before. We're gonna try to make our very own soda. Now, I'm really not much of a soft drink drinker, except for tequila fresca, you know about that. But I read about this in Bon Appetit this month and thought, hey, I'm gonna give that a shot sometime. And then like four seconds later, I thought, oh my God, I can add a whole bunch of vodka to it. It'll be great, I have to try it immediately, and I got really excited, just like the tequila and the fresca. I wonder if I drink too much. Now I'm sad. So we're making three types of soda today and we're actually gonna use a different technique for each one. Now the first two recipes are from Bon Appetit and the last one is one I'm gonna make up right here on the spot. So if I botch it terribly, you'll be here to witness the whole thing. But you know what the solution to a botched vodka soda is? having two more vodka sodas. So, so we're gonna be safe no matter what happens. First up, we're gonna use um, ginger root and red pepper flakes to make a simple syrup and create a spicy ginger soda. And next, we're gonna make a strawberry basil soda where we actually just muddle all the ingredients right in the glass. The last recipe is the one I came up with. It's a blackberry mint soda where we're gonna make a blackberry puree and then just rip up the mint leaves, put them right in the glass, throw the soda and the vodka in there and see how that turns out. Now the spicy ginger and the strawberry basil soda recipes are from the latest issue of Bon Appetit, which is kind of like my Bible. I think it should be your Bible too, unless you already have a Bible. I've heard that one's great, but I bet the recipes in it are kind of old, so you should consider a subscription to Bon Appetit either way. So we're gonna start off with that spicy ginger soda by making a simple syrup with the ginger and the red pepper flakes in it. Now, if you've never made a simple syrup, good news, it's really easy. You just have to boil some water and put some sugar in it. You can handle that, right? Yeah, you can handle that. So we're gonna take two cups of water and throw in a cup of sugar. Don't worry, it's healthy sugar. So the spicy ginger soda is gonna take the longest. And while we're waiting for that, let's move on to our next soda, the blackberry mint. I'm just gonna take these blackberries and make a quick puree out of them in my food processor. So I'm gonna use a fine mesh strainer and just push that puree through it with a wooden spoon. Now this part does require a bit of patience, which is not my strong suit. I actually oftentimes will skip this step entirely when I'm using blackberries. If it's in a sorbet or another kind of dessert, I figure the seeds just kind of add to the texture. But since this is going directly up a straw, it might, sh it might shock somebody. So we'll try to do them a favor and, uh, and, and strain it for them. If you skip this step, I won't judge you. Um, I get, I get kind of bored doing this sometimes. And so one time I used one of those flour sifters, sifters with, a, with a little crank, because I thought, oh, the little crank will help me get through this stuff really quickly instead of, instead of having to stand here and wait for it to drop through. And, and did you know that if your husband's grandma gave him a flour sifter and he has a deep emotional connection to it and he walks into the kitchen and he finds you doing that, that he'll be very upset? I know that. But now. So this is the easiest out of our three sodas. We're actually just gonna put all the ingredients in a glass and muddle it using a muddler. This is like my best friend in the kitchen. Oh, except for you. And all this other stuff in the kitchen. I really, I like it all. But the muddler is really handy when it comes to making different cocktails and we're gonna use it tonight. What I've done is just thrown our strawberries and our basil together as well as a little bit of salt and some sugar. And we're gonna throw it in a glass and mash it all up with our muddler. Earlier I squeezed the juice from a lemon, we're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice in there, and then muddle. So now actually what we're gonna do is add ice cubes to this, and our soda water. stir it up just to get it chilled. And then we're gonna strain it back into another glass filled with ice. Oh, 
All right, there's one out of three, good to go. Let's move on to our blackberry mint. So for that one, I'm just gonna take some of my blackberry puree and just rip up some mint leaves and throw them right in there to really get those oils out of there. Muddle. Throw in my ice. Give it a stir. So we're two down and there's just one more to go. Our spicy ginger soda is the last one that we're gonna make. Are you getting excited? You should be. If you're not, I'm really not sure what you thought was gonna happen at the end of the video. I thought it was being pretty clear. So what I did after we boiled and then simmered and then covered and steeped that syrup is I chilled some of it. I am very impatient. I often chill these things in a metal bowl that helps it move along a little bit faster in the fridge. Um, so I'm gonna add about two tablespoons to my glass. Fill it with ice. I'm gonna top it with my soda water. I've gotta add my vodka to each one. Now you know that normally I don't measure when it comes to drinks but i think in the name of science for these i am gonna try to try to enjoy it in moderation just so i know what i'm putting in each one and i can kind of change the flavors for the next batch from there now i know what you're thinking did he kill a giant and steal his vodka and you are correct that is what happened There we go, an equal amount in each one. Oh, oh, mine's bombing. I'm having some kind of mint related catastrophe. There we go. <clears throat> Delicious plus vodka. It's redundant, isn't it? Refreshing plus vodka. <clears throat> quick, quick, there. Delicious again, spicy plus vodka. So we went from not even knowing how to make soda to knowing how to make three really cool sodas, to knowing how to make three really good vodka sodas. So next time you're having a dinner party or a barbecue or a cocktail party, whip one of these together. They're easy, they're delicious, and you're gonna look really cool. So vodka and looking really cool, it's kinda like I just made all your dreams from college come true. You're welcome.